selfless, persevering and a tough negotiator. Just some of the words used to describe Colin Eglin. Family, friends and political opponents joined together to pay their last respects. Eglin was a founding member of the Progressive Party and later became leader of the Progressive Federal Party. In 1990, Eglin was part of a national committee charged with drafting a new constitution. Western Cape Premier Helen Ziller remembered having to interview him when she was a journalist. He fought the struggle for freedom on two continents. In Europe as a very young man, as a teenager, in a major battle which was very important in winning the war against Nazism and fascism. And then he learned his love for freedom and came back to his home South Africa and continued his work and his struggle here and devoted his life for it. And the Constitution is really testament to so many of his great ideas. F.W. de Klerk commended Eglin for his dedication to building a better South Africa. I honor him as a politician of great integrity. He made a very positive contribution to the negotiations for a new constitution and I'm proud to also call him a friend although we were opponents. Trevor Manuel said although they were political foes, there was always a way to solve problems with Eglin. I came into Parliament in 1994. It was a period that was uh, right in the middle of constitution making. He'd already made an imprint on the, uh, con uh, the negotiations around the interim constitution. That continued. And so I looked to him as uh, a gentleman who uh, demanded and commanded the greatest respect. I think all of us in the ranks of the ANC would have a similar view of Colin. There was a military guard of honor at the funeral and President Jacob Zuma ordered that the national flag be flown at half-mast in the Western Cape for the day. Zulfa Khan, Cape Town. Know more about your world. ENCA.com